studio vlog this is vlog number three and I firstly just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who's been supporting me on YouTube and everywhere else on the interwebs Um, my YouTube just suddenly seems to have like gained some sort of traction somehow and you guys love studio vlogs and guess what I love filming them this video and this vlog is something that has been very highly requested and today we are going to be making enamel pins so just a little footnote here you don't actually make the enamel pins by hand you create a design and send it off to a manufacturer who then makes the enamel pins but I'm going to show you my process on how I design edit and send them off to the manufacturer and how they come back to me had to shut the door because there's people coming in. Um, so yeah, this is going to be the process on how I create design uh, from the design process to the manufacturing process, like how I kind of do it step by step. This might not be the right way to do it, but this is the way that I do it. And I'll also, as I'm going through the motions, show you some tips and advice of things to avoid when you're sending off your enamel pins because I've made a few mistakes when I've done it um, so yeah this might be helpful also today in the vlog and on the agenda for this weekend is so my enamel pins I have to do um, some client work so I have to send off um, some graphic design adverts for a client of mine uh, and I really really want to make some new stickers uh, some freebie stickers for uh, my customers on my Etsy store because I really like throwing in a little extra gift and I've run out of all the stickers that I've made last time and this time I was thinking that I would do it as like a, my catnip character um, which is basically me. I also sold out of a lot of sticker packs that I made um, so I need to bulk make some more sticker packs but I can't start that until my printer delivery um, I'm waiting for some cartridges to arrive um, and if anyone wants to know where I get my ink cartridges from and you're from the UK, it is Cartridge Save. And the reason I get it from there, this isn't a sponsor or anything, I'm just telling you where I get it from. Um, it's uh, The reason I get it from there is because they do next day delivery, which is super handy. So yeah, let's get into the work day and let's get some stuff done. my client work I'm loaded full of coffee so now it is time to get on to the enamel pins I'm gonna get my sketchbook out and we're gonna start designing what I'm gonna do for this Christmas enamel pin is I'm going to use an old design from last year I sketched a few um, gingerbread men and they were really really cute but I was a little bit late to the Christmas party and I launched them really late and I hadn't even I only had one enamel pin out then and it was my mermaid pin which is now sold out but um I was really in love with this little tiny guy that I illustrated so I really want to include him as my pin and a lot of people said that they want to see it as well I'll show you the little guy because I actually have a sticker pack of him which is over here so this is my sticker pack. Uh, this, this guy is who I want to make into a pin. So this is my old sketchbook. It is the Midori sketchbook. I got this on Amazon. And you can also go to this website here. And it's a Japanese sketchbook. And the paper is amazing.
Okay, so as you can see, I've just done the outline for the pin. Um, God, that mouth pit was so hard to do. I still don't think I've got it right. But I'm going to put it into Photoshop now, rejig the eyebrows and the mouth so it's a little bit more cute like this one. And then I'm going to add the colours on Photoshop. So I've got um, my pin in Photoshop, which you can see here. Um, Procreate lets you... Um, share as a PSD which is perfect for Photoshop it's a Photoshop file which means it'll keep and retain all the layers that were on Procreate which is really really handy um, and now basically I'm just gonna colour this little guy in first of all I think I'm gonna change the mouth around right so I'm just gonna create a new layer and I am just gonna go over to my swatches and then I'm gonna select okay so this is the final design i finally chose my colors i've changed them slightly and how i send them to the manufacturer i give them the swatch like this um so that they know kind of what's what uh, white screen print the cheeks might have to go into enamel so they might have a rose gold enamel i'll see what they say back to me um but yeah i'm going to send this off to my manufacturer um after i have done my next pin which is the marshmallow pin that i want let's get into the marshmallow pin another tip i thought i would quickly mention is if you wanted a size reference because you have to ask whether you want it like 0.75 inches one inch one and a half inch um for your enamel pin the bigger the enamel pin obviously the more expensive it's going to be uh, a lot of the standard uh, a lot of standard sizes start about one inch depending on how simple your design is but what i would advise is to do a print of the different sizes so try one at one inch try one at 0.75 inches cut them out even one 1 1.5 inches cut them out see what they look like in comparison because you don't want to end up with what happened to me which was my egg pin came huge even though i ended up loving how it turned out let me just show you the comparison on one of my pin displays that i've got so here are some of my pins now these are one inch pins so all these are one inch pins my egg i ordered as a 1.5 pin and it came huge and ideally it should have been about one inch but because of the width i thought it needed to be bigger if i'd have printed it out and just double checked i would have seen that this is quite a big size this again is a 1.5 inch pin uh, it could have done being smaller but I'm happy with the size that is that is and then the rest of these pins are all one inch pins but yeah this is my pins the standard is one inch these are all one inch this one is 1.5 this one is 1.5 <laughs>
Okay guys, so I finished doing some sketches for a new pin. I've had this in my mind for ages because I've always referred to myself as a squishy human marshmallow. So I always wanted to do a little pin and anyone else who's a squishy marshmallow can buy one too. And you don't have to be squishy on the outside, you can be squishy and cute on the inside. So these are the pins that I've designed. Um, I think I really like this one. It's a toss up between this one and this one. So now I'm going to take a photo of this to share to my Instagram uh, for the likes. And then I'm going to put it onto uh, my iPad just like I did with my gingerbread one. And then put it onto my Mac. Uh, so yeah, let's go take some photos. Okay, so here is my next pin. All freaking done. Oh yeah, I feel productive today. So I'm gonna have this silver, I think. I think I'm going to do this as a one inch pin. So it's nice and dinky and cute. I also made a little bit of a change to the mouth on my gingerbread man, which is gonna be going off. So I am now gonna send these off to my manufacturer to ask for a price. And then that's that done pay the invoice and it's all systems go for that. my break and it was really nice I put so much butter on that toast I love toast it's so good um now I want to make some stickers as freebies for my Etsy um customers uh so I'm gonna get my iPad out I'm not gonna do any sketchbook sketches because I'm just gonna draw catnip it's gonna be a really basic sticker I think Good morning guys and happy Tuesday. I was going to end my vlog on the last bit of footage that I filmed. Please excuse how I look right now because I've had a huge breakout at the weekend and come out in spots so I'm wet, barely wearing any makeup and for some reason my allergies are crazy so my eyelashes have just been sliding off which they do anyway but whatever and my hair's wet from swimming but I got an arrival of enamel pins in the post, new ones and seeing as though this vlog was about enamel pins I decided it would be a good idea to show you the before, during and after the manufacturing process. Okay so here is the original design 
which was this cute little puppy here and I really really liked how it turned out and I wanted to make him into a pin. You'll have seen on my first studio vlog that I made these stickers of him and I really loved how they turned out and at the, on the same day I ordered the pins. So I had my design, I had it sketched and then let's have a look. I created this design in Procreate for my enamel pin. I put it into Photoshop and I made sure all the Pantone swatches matched up to the colours that I wanted to get. This is what I sent to my pin manufacturer, just a code of all the Pantones that I wanted to use. They use solid coated, I think it is, don't take my word for it. Then I just marked um, where I wanted screen print, so I wanted screen print in here, here and in the legs and I sent that to my manufacturer and they got back in touch with me with a price. Uh, once I was happy with the price I went for the go ahead and they got to work on the artwork. Now bear in mind that some companies charge for artwork, my particular pin manufacturer doesn't, they sent over a proof and this is what a, a generic proof looks like. So this was the proof that they sent over. I wanted it in rose gold. Um, they tell me all the colour swatches. I would just double check these um, on your Pantone swatch, maybe on Photoshop or on the internet or what, however you've been doing it. I would just double check that these are right. And then once I was happy, I wasn't actually happy with this one because I wanted the triangles to be coloured in. So I actually messaged him back saying, please can he add like coloured in. So then he sent me another one back and it was all all good to go then it's doing the waiting and they arrived so once they arrived I arranged them into firsts and seconds first are perfect quality seconds are non-perfect quality now look how many seconds I have in this batch this is quite a large amount I would say 50 percent of the pins came as seconds that is a high number of pins normally you can get in touch with your manufacturer and tell them to remake them now I'll tell you why I think these came as seconds so let me get a pin out as you can see I ordered these pins and they are so cute and I'm absolutely in love with how they turned out however I only ordered them one inch in size. Because it was such a complex design, sorry, someone was walking by my office. Um, I should have really ordered these larger than one inch. So these are only one inch enamel pins. Now I had problems with an original mermaid design that I ordered and the more details you have, the larger you have to go. And I think that's how I ended up with so many seconds. A lot of my pins, are quite simple. So here's an example of some of my pins on one of my pin display banners that I sell in my Etsy store. A lot of my pins are quite simple and I don't normally run into issues with seconds as much. Um, but with this batch, because this little dude is so complex, I think that's where the issues were. Like you can see in comparison. So the octopus is also one inch, but the go on the overall height so this is the overall like design is one inch so yeah that's where I think I've run into problems so I think take my advice from early in the video maybe print it out and try an example uh, I should have possibly ordered this at um, 1.2 to 1.5 inches I would say and then they would have eliminated the fact that I had so many seconds another thing that came which I don't know if you will have noticed is the cheeks are actually meant to be pink and they've turned into this kind of orangey peachy colour and normally I would complain about this but I actually really really like how they turned out the camera's not really doing it justice but he actually looks super, super cute. So I'm still gonna be selling this batch because I'm going to Florida in two weeks and I don't have time to wait for another batch. And I'm still quite happy with how he turns out. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like this little dude? But yeah, that's from start to finish. How I make my backing cards 
is I basically print out an A4 sheet of paper with my design on. I kept it very simple this time with reds and peachy tones to match the pink and to match like autumn. And then I'll cut them using my paper cutter and I'll individually cut them. So I ordered a batch of 50 because it's I won't be here for the whole of autumn. Uh, I'll be half in America so I only ordered 50 of this so then I cut them all out individually with my paper cutter and then I round the corners with this roundy thing thingy choppery thing I'm not sure what this is called um but yeah then I clip the corners because I just like the way it looks all right so that's basically it from start to finish from sketch to proof to final pin design let me know in the comments what you think of this little guy i now have my photography set up over there and i'm going to take some pictures of these guys and upload it to my etsy so by the time you're watching this they will be live on my etsy store get them while you can because there's, a, there's only about 20 odd firsts available so grab them while you can and then yeah jesus i look really rough right now uh so yeah thank you so much for watching i really hope you found this helpful or even if you're not a creative or planning on designing your own enamel pins i really hope you enjoyed seeing how we make them and how we produce them and how designers get enamel pins out there i know they're very very popular at the moment so i really really hope you liked it anyway um i'm really tired but i've got to edit this video and upload it so that's what i'm gonna do now thank you everyone for coming to my channel new and old i love you all by the way please leave a comment below i read them all and they honestly make my day i don't have time to reply to every single one of them but honestly words can't describe how happy it makes me when i read your comments it makes all this hard work and all this effort of editing sitting filming a video so much more worth it oh my god i'm gonna stop stop talking to the camera while i look like this right now so yeah i'll see you in the next video the next video is going to be how to make your own watercolor texture to add to your illustrations and also to create new designs and things like that so yeah i'll see you on thursday with another video i love you all so much i love you so 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 much okay love you bye